guys! Today we are going to be doing the mid-year book freakout tag. Um, I love these like just general check-in tags. They're just so much fun. So uh, without further ado, let's just get started. So what is the best book you've read so far this year? And guys, my reading year is going great. Last year I had a total of 16 five-star books. I went back and double-checked um, in my um, like favorite books of the year last year. This year I am already up to 32. I think it's 32. It, I, I am just blown away have said such a good reading year but the f answer that I finally landed on is the Elyon Chronicles. Yes Celestria and Reese and Sarah and everybody who's read them. Yes they're all right. You should go read them. They're great. <laughs> um yeah so I'm not gonna pick a book just because I love them all. Gave them all five stars but that is the best book that I've read so far this year. What is the best sequel you've read so far this year? And for that I'm gonna go with In Feast or Famine. Uh, by Mesu, Mesu Andrews, if only because this is the only sequel that I think I have read that I really loved that was not, um, that I had didn't read. For this I was counting, like, sequels that I read book one in a previous year. So if I just binged the series like I did with Ileon, I wasn't going to count that. So I am going to say, um, In Feast or Famine, because I read book one a couple years ago, I think. Whenever it came out, probably, is when I read it. All right, new release you haven't read yet but want to. I keep saying this in, I think, the comment sections, at least, of everybody's videos. I've read in the, When the Day Comes. I'm talking about the sequels. Um, I need to read two and three because four is coming out this year. I think there's going to be six, five or six books. I am so excited to get into other books in this series. So I just I just need to buckle down and read the rest of this. Read the rest of the series. Not buckle down. I need to get my hands on them because I just don't buy books and I don't pre-order them. I just, as they come... That's people, as basically, I put them on my birthday list or Christmas list, and as I get them, I read them, or I try to find them at a used bookstore, because I don't spend a lot of money on books. I don't spend a lot of money, period, normally. Yeah, try to be frugal around here, um, which unfortunately affects my book buying habits, but it also means that I buy used books, and I reread a lot, so that's good. All right, next is most anticipated release for the second half of the year, and I went through my list, and there's a lot of books that I think... I'm excited about. I have, I need to do a video about that video actually at some point because I have a lot of books to read in the second half or that are releasing in the second half of the year that I am really hyped for. But um, I think what I'm going to land on is Winter's Maiden by Morgan L. Bussey. I think it says connected to one of her other series, but I haven't, that I haven't read, but that's fine. Um, it's like a Viking series or, or book or something, Christian Viking fantasy, and I am stoked. That sounds so good. And just look at this cover. This cover is gorgeous. All right. Um, biggest disappointment. Um, I think I'm going to go with World Worlds Unseen by Rachel Starr Thompson, I think was the, her name. Um, I read this, this was actually the answer for the same question in my quarter year crisis book tag. So yeah, it's still my biggest disappointment. Not really, um, I haven't really read anything else that was much very disappointing. Um, Baby's right here, so if you hear crinkly and stuff, or as he just was banging his feet on the chair thing that he's in. Yeah, that's Baby. Um... But anyways, yeah, it was just kind of meh. Like, it wasn't awful, but it wasn't great either. Okay, next is Biggest Surprise. And for that, I'm going with The Railway Children by E. Nesbitt. Because, like, I kind of expected to enjoy her books, but I did not expect to love them like I do. It was so good. Um, yeah, I just, this book was really great. And looking um, forward to reading more of her stuff. I've already read another one, which was really good. I had to read The Bastables, because, of course, The Bastables are mentioned in Magician's Nephew as... Uh, Narnia addict like me would know. All right. Um, favorite new debut or new to you author? For that, I'm probably going to go with J.L. Knight. Um, I've only read the Ilion Chronicles by her, but ugh, if they're all this good, then I got to read everything she writes. Um, uh, next question is newest fictional crush, which I don't answer because I'm married, and I think that'd be a weird question to answer since I am married. Newest favorite character? Again, I have to go with an Ilion answer. I think Jace is my newest favorite character. Um... I mean, I loved Chiron, too. Like, I'm usually the one who... My favorite character is usually the girl character. But uh, Jace was just so well-written. His arc was so great. And he did not... Like, no spoilers here, I guess. I don't think these are spoilers. But he didn't... He didn't, um... Uh, like, backtrack in his arc. Like, you know... Um... Sort of in Star Wars you have this where Han has this, you know, only in it for the money kind of thing. And then he, um, in episode four, and then in episode five, in episode four, though, he, you know, comes back to help them, help the, uh, rebels. 
and but then in episode five he's kind of back to being just in it for the money almost so a lot of things do that a lot of series do that because they the character struggling is the main point of the character and i was so glad that jace was not that way when jace had an arc his arc stayed and i was like yes yes so yeah he's probably my newest favorite character all right book that made you cry guess what answer i've got yeah <laughs> Um, probably The King's Scrolls or Bitter Winter. I'm not sure which one made me cry more. If you know, you know. Um, but yeah, those two. I think, I think I literally cried at King's Scrolls. I don't know if I literally cried with Bitter Winter. So, probably King's Scrolls is my answer. Which is book two in Ilion, in case you didn't know that. Which, I guess the book on screen would have told you anyway. Alright, book that made you happy. And I've got Winnie the Pooh down because Winnie the Pooh is just so precious. Um, read that with my son earlier in the year. And of course, he is very small, so he didn't understand any of it. He was just happy to be with his mommy. But um, yeah, definitely looking forward to reading that to him more when he's older and can understand it. And um, also looking forward to reading the rest of the series because Winnie the Pooh is just precious, y'all. Again, as I have said in the previous videos, if you don't like Winnie the Pooh, I don't know if I trust you as a person. All right, next question is most beautiful book you've received or bought so far this year. Look at this book. Just look at it. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. I love it. I love this book. Um, yeah, this is definitely the most beautiful book I have uh, received. Well, my husband bought it for me. We have a joint bank account. So, like, did I buy it or did I receive it? Or we're going to go with I received it because I did not. I mean, I picked it out and put it on my list or whatever. But he is actually the one who paid for it. So, I come to think of it, since I'm... Mm, mostly a stay-at-home mom I guess he also contributes most of the money in that bank account so anyway all right and then finally what book what books do you need to read by the end of the year and I think I'm going to say for that The Blades of Actar, which is another book that I have heard about from at least Celestria I don't know if anybody else has talked about that one I think other people have talked about how much they love that one maybe Reese as well yeah but anyways um I have to read this book this year because it is free on Kindle Unlimited, and I have a three-month free trial of Kindle Unlimited that is um, May, June, and July, I think, is when it, it should run out, like, end of July, beginning of August. So, I'm going to binge that series. <laughs> like, I binged Elion. That's why I binged Elion, is because it was on Kindle Unlimited for free. So, I'm going to binge Blades of Akatar as well. It's what my goal. I've got so many books that I want to read on Kindle Unlimited, and so little time. But I am doing my best. Um, if you've noticed me on my Goodreads and also in my wrap-ups, like, talking about I've read so many books, a lot of those are Kindle Unlimited books. And, like, the, yeah, they are Kindle Unlimited books. The baby is not good at napping alone. He will nap in my arms, but he's looking at me, so, of course, I'm looking at him. Um, he will nap in my arms, but he's not great at just napping by himself. If I put him down in his crib, if he falls asleep in my arms and I put him down in his crib, he will be angry. If I put him down in his crib, awake, he will also be angry and will not sleep. So I hold him. And when I hold him, it's really easy to just read a Kindle book on my phone. So that's what I do a lot of the time. All right. Um, so that is the end of the mid-year freakout tag. I'm not going to tag anybody because a lot of people just do this one automatically. Like they just have this in their schedule. So I'm not going to tag anybody. But if you see this and you want to do it, feel free to do it. I will have the questions down below. Let me know in the comments. Um, let me know what the best book you've read so far this year is. And let me know a book that made you happy. Let me know, answer those two questions down in the comments. And I will see you all next time. Bye.